What's up and welcome to another episode of Los Wise Guys Podcast. I'm your host, Aslam, a.k.a. Rod God of the Sun, accompanied by Dan Emperor Disco. How you doing, bro? What's up, what's up? It's good to be here. Shout out to everybody viewing in and uh, all the future viewers. Thank you for the chat. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps us out immensely. Uh, today we do not have the Papa Sun Killer. Um, he's out there killing um, the sons, all of them. He's on another mission in the universe. He just keeps on trying. He doesn't understand that he can't do it, but you know you know him. He's stubborn. Um, but tonight we will be talking about what ifs. You know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna ask ourselves some what if questions. Gonna ask you guys some what if questions. Help us answer them, and uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. I guess we should start with the first one. What do you think the first one should be, Disco? What if you had to be haunted by a ghost for the rest of your life, but you could you could choose which dead person the ghost would be? Who would you choose and why? Mm, mm. Okay. I thought that was like a really interesting what if. That is an interesting what if. Um, who would it be and why? Now, I guess I have a couple in mind. Um, you know, I would, like, I can always choose, like, a religious figure, you know, and uh, become holy. It could be, like, my ticket into heaven, you know, have them always tell me like what to do religiously and be the best i can be the other one that popped <laughs> yeah, into my head was like nikola nikolai tesla that's who i was kind of thinking too as yeah well. um, kind of like the science route would yeah. kind of get the some Einstein. i wonder if he's learned anything yeah. new in the the ethereal or wherever he's been or like yeah. you know come back with some new knowledge and just blow my mind and maybe you know maybe i could help I could be your some, vessel. Some you know? experiments, yeah, exactly. I mean, him. I'm I'm retarded, bad. but I I can <clears throat> I can at least be your physical form. And and I'm studying electricity too, so I can like kind of you know maybe he can like fine tune and he's like the father of AC current and a bunch of awesome technology yeah. inventions. That, so uh, it would be an honor to have him. Too. Yeah, for real. And uh, um, who else would I? Pick? Who else? Well, the ghost. I was thinking of <laughs> this was fucked up. What's her, what's her name? Um, uh, she's famous. She was blind, deaf, and mute. Helen Keller. Hel Helen that Keller. Yeah. That's uh, that's another one I would pick. Just I wonder how she would communicate with you. If that's the whole point. Though. Is because she wouldn't communicate. She's, just she's there, blind, just deaf, like... and mute. <laughs> Like it's just like just it's a light, ghost, just but a it's like apparition just yeah. walking around blind. Only I see her, all. so I I won't be able to hear her because she can't speak. And hey, she's, Helen. She doesn't know what the hell's <laughs> going on, so it's just like, all right. Well, I mean, if I had to have a ghost haunt me, then it would be like a ghost of like someone who can't haunt me. So like Helen, you know Helen Keller. Um. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a musician. Too, maybe like Jimi Hendrix or oh, yeah. When as soon as you said musician, Jimi Hendrix just popped in my head. Jimi Hendrix or um, I mean, I, Ron, get some blues action and in, in yeah. there. I don't know some some legendary. I mean, I can't musician. play music, but like I mean, I I could choose Chester, but like, what is that gonna do for me? He's like, this is how you yell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> teach me oh. how to sing. I'll become the new lead singer of Lincoln Park, <laughs> thanks to Chester's ghost. For real, that'd be insane. That'd be amazing, though. Honestly, that's oh, like Journey. How they like replace? Not they replace, but like they have that new singer that sounds just yeah. like him. Thing. Like he's full of Pino uh, too. Amazing. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's let's jump into the second question. What if we were living in a world? Where people could only communicate via texts. Wow. That would. I mean, I feel like we're halfway there. I mean, our generations, like, 
<laughs> I mean, before we used to only, you know, speak face to face and it was like speak on the phone. And then once we got cell phones, it was just like text. I I could see us going in that direction, especially the further generations away from us, like where intimacy and being up close and like COVID. I mean, they distance, might not even need to speak us. anymore. That there was a TV show. I forgot what it was. The TV show that I saw a while ago that um, it was pretty much talking about this, like, and, and it was, uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, there was like a poor section where it's like normal, kind of like what we're used to. And then there was a rich section and the rich people, one of the poor people went to the rich section and like, they're like, she got like this rich boyfriend and they're going to have like get intimate. And, but like for the rich people, they have technology and all this. So they were like texting and that's how they had sex. It was like them sexting emojis together. And they're like, Oh yeah, yeah. you like that. And it was so weird. <laughs> I could totally see in that world of just texting like that, <laughs> that TV show, but I, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> just slinging uh-huh. eggplants everywhere. Just, ah, I mean, I I honestly think it's it's possible. It um, what would happen? I feel like in the beginning there'd be a lot of miscommunication because people just wouldn't know how to fully. Uh, because there's a lot of nuance when you speak in person with the tone, the especially uh, with like the, sarcasm and then yeah, you know, like the tone, the inflections that that, that carries Your a lot of facial weight. expressions. <laughs> yeah, it carries a lot of um. Uh, just facial expressions alone carry its own language, you know what I mean? All the little micro gestures that come yeah. with a little human interaction. And it's a. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, all, all that, that goes will be away. Lost. I think language, I is, like I think language it, would need to evolve at that point. If, if we're only doing text, I think language would need to evolve to the point of like yeah. arrival type language, you know what I mean? It's going to be crazy too. Like. <sighs> There's going to be like traditionalists like that type of proper grammar and then like already like aim language, like it's already become its own thing where words become shortened and yeah. it's like shorthand almost aim. That would be <laughs> Internet language. I can't spell to save my life. So I have to like, <laughs> it would just be like misspellings everywhere. No punctuation, no quotations, <laughs> like nothing, no grammar whatsoever. Oh man, that's beautiful. I would descend into <laughs> chaos. It was just my brain would just go be done. I would go insane. Group chats are the worst, yo. I hate I hate group chats. <laughs> like, like especially because I'm doing Uber, so like I have music and stuff on, so it's like every, every five group seconds. chat is just like boop, 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 and like I can't hear I can't listen to anything. My customers just like hey, what's going on here? <laughs> just um, like mute all of them. That's pretty much what I do. That's why, I, like, sometimes I like, barely check like my messages. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I'll, I'll ask the next one. Um, All right, go for it. What if someone offered you ten thousand dollars every time they punched you in the face? How many times would you ask them to hit you? I like the second part of that question because it means you can keep going back to get punched in the face and keep getting more money. How many yeah, times you, would I do it? As many times as I need money. That's how many times I would fucking do it. Right now, I wonder, I'd go do it a couple of times. <laughs> if that option is always there, that would be yeah. so convenient. Just come, I'm going to work, honey. <laughs> I mean, if it was like, if it was, also depends on how hard they're punching in the face. Is it like a one punch and, knockout every time? And who? Because if it's Tyson, it's like. Uh, I mean that's brain damage within like five. Get ten thousand dollars and then I'm gonna have to spend that ten thousand on health and like health. <laughs> health insurance? No, you're gonna have to spend it on like fucking hospice care because you're gonna be drooling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're gonna be and brain damaged and drooling. But yeah, I guess okay, it would depend I'm on paralyzed. the person and how hard they're gonna be hitting. I mean, I guess if they're given ten thousand dollars, they want to hit hard. But uh, I'm hoping it's a weakling and then they can punch as hard as they can and you know can take it and get some money out of it if it's an average person i would i would go in i would go in yeah. maybe five ten times you know yeah. if i if my jaw could take it i think i could take it yeah yeah. but yeah. uh if it's like because you're not doing it in a row that, right? or, or somebody that actually knows how to fight then yeah. no nah, because all no, it no. takes is that one punch and it's like 
Yeah. <laughs> that would be one ten thousand. <laughs> like you're fucking dead. Yeah. At that point, it's just. I, I yeah, I would definitely do it a couple of times, and then it. I, I wouldn't do it them in a row. I gotta give your brain some time to recover, especially if you're getting your jaw broken or some shit. Get hit, get my 10k dip. Come back like a week later. Boom, get another 10k. Start start doing those boxing exercises or like put the yeah, weight you on strengthen their neck. your it's neck. Like, yeah. <laughs> Just start preparing for it. 10k. That Just grow your me. beard out as I thick see. as you can so it can cushion your <laughs> face. Every little bit counts. <laughs> For real. It's like a little hand catching it. <laughs> I think I read um, that people with beards like uh, have like it's like the hair actually does cushion the blows to the face. It's, I mean, it's not by much, but it's enough where it makes like the slightest difference between like a concussion. Um, I could be making all this shit up also. I, I, you know what I mean? I do have Alzheimer's if you're I believe frequent it, listener of the podcast, you know how much I forget shit. So I remember hearing that or seeing that somewhere, but hey, it is it is what it is. We have higher knockout tolerance. <laughs> I'm not going to fact check myself, so you can go fact check if you want. Yeah, I'm uh, not fact checking either because I have a pretty nice beard. No, so I'm so. talking to the people. Like if they want to go fact check me, they can go oh, fact yeah. check me, but I'm not well, doing that shit. What if everyone on Earth had the ability to fly but for only 10 minutes a day. Mm. This is very interesting because it's like, how fast can I fly? Because depending on how fast can I fly, 10 minutes a day is just like, that's fantastic. You know? Because like for me now, I can use that 10 minutes a day to just like fly to work and back home, right? Mm -hmm. Just fly into the city. Honestly, if you could fly, if you could fly really fast, you can even just take a quick vacation and just be like, exactly. "I'm flying to Europe real quick, mock speed for ten seconds." Yeah, if your body can handle it. Whatever magic you're using, I don't know if you can make Europe you. in ten minutes. At my, I think you'd have to be going like Mach three, but um, <laughs> like anywhere you could, you can pretty much go anywhere within like the tri-state area. You know what I mean? For ten That's minutes, still pretty sick. Pretty fast. Can you can you carry somebody? I guess like. Well, it says everyone in the world, so that means like your girl would be able to fly too. So it's just like. I'm saying we could capitalize by working together. I'll carry her for ten minutes, and then she'll carry me oh, for ten minutes, and we'll, we'll be like twenty good. minutes that's travel good. time. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. But if you're in the middle of the ocean, like, what the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> like, you're flying, and then you just drop, and then she has to quickly like get you and start flying again. Like, that'd be wild I mean, shit. You gotta plan it out, I guess. You can't just <laughs> yeah. go wild. <laughs> I'm in international waters. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh fucking land in like shark infested water real quick start uh, seeing yeah, that, aliens that was... oh god that'd be crazy <clears throat> uh i mean that would be honestly for the short term 10 minutes a day would be great for com- my commute make it so much shorter i don't have to pay public transportation i think public transportation would just like automatically go out of business i mean no they wouldn't because you're only 10 minutes a day so You'd have to use them at some point when you run out of ten minutes. Now, it's hopefully, this ten minutes is one, not a one-way trip. It's like accounting for a one-way trip. So wherever you're going, it's like you better get an Uber back or like. Well, have here's a ride the thing, there. right? Hopefully, it's not. Once you start, it's like it has to be ten minutes continuous because, like, I can fly from here to work. I think in like three to five minutes, and then I can use the other That's three to five minutes too. coming back. That that'd you know? be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If your if your uh, destination really is that far, because it says ten minutes a day, but it doesn't say it has to be ten continuous minutes a day, so I can break it up if I want to, <laughs> which would yeah. be great. I. Yeah, I mean that's I would I would accept that world. I would take it rather than not, because yeah, yeah. why the heck not, right? Like, uh, I wonder. You'd have to. I, I would imagine you would have to like teach kids as uh, 
in the education system too how to like control your flying like well no kids you'd high. have to use those dog leashes you know what i mean you know like they have them now <laughs> to, keep them, like to keep them like, away like, from running like you yeah. you're just holding on to them while they're trying to fly for 10 minutes so they can get it out their system and then you're done <laughs> that'd be insane they're like flight training wheels like you can go flying with your kids with, <laughs> but you're holding them with the fucking like leash thing that's flying leash yeah fly leash <laughs> oh man that's that would be interesting that yeah i uh what if you can hold each other and both fly at the same time but you fly twice as fast oh and then you share cool. each other's 10 minutes. That would be, ins- I mean, if you're yeah. both going the same direction and you want to go the same place, that yeah, no, be- let's say you're going on vacation and you, you put your backpacks on, you like, you know, hug and you're like, Poof. you're just like flying in the same directions. But like, you, you're, you're both your speeds combined make a, a, a faster flight trajectory and um, you get there quicker. Maybe so that way, the 10 minutes, instead of, you know, carrying then flying one person then the other flying maybe both of you combined can be quicker i feel like that would be like a uber service too where it's like oh i donate my 10 minutes to you to like if you pay me just so, so we could get to your destination faster just help and then how does that person get back <laughs> depending I mean, on how far that the bullet, i guess is. i don't know <laughs> I'm trying to imagine a world where that is a thing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'd I can see them be like, I'll carry you and you pay me, but it has to be within like, you know, at least like an hour walk or whatever. And you pay me for my, I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I guess, guess logistic, it has to be a distance cap. Yeah, lo- like, logistically it gets weird. There's this uh, one that I saw that kind of made me laugh. It said, what if toilet paper became a new currency? And it just immediately made me think of COVID. We'd be screwed. Yep. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't be. Um, I'll be 100% five. I had a bidet. I've been using one since forever, since before Corona. So you can take all the fucking toilet paper you want. Like, I'll be fine. My asshole will still be clean. This shit does not affect me at all. But but toilet paper would be the currency. So that that's the equivalent to a dollar. So you you have no dollars because you've been daying. Bidet. Hey man, I'm uh, my bidet is the the crypto. It's it's Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm decentralized, baby. <laughs> Fuck that toilet paper. You don't even know your TP, baby. You just got a bidet. Yeah, pretty much. A little water. Decentralized oh, currency out here, bidets. Heck yeah. It's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can move on. That was just a goofy question. What if everyone had a personal teleportation device but could only use it once a year? I feel like I would very much like relationship oriented again i feel like that would be my free vacation i yeah. you know me or my or my fiance just see that one's to easier to something. share right because you can yeah. hold on to the other person the stuff one person teleports you there the other person teleports you back and then that's your once per year yeah for that's each my free vacation out there there's pay for hotel <laughs> yeah that would be that would be beautiful that would be amazing be amazing I would and, do that. Uh, you too, know, then. in case if you have family elsewhere in the country and an emergency happens, it's kind of cool to have that. Just be like, I need yeah, an emergency drop, like e drop. <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah. That that te- I, I'm just waiting for that technology. I'm tired of traveling. That travel from Dubai it was like the longest I've ever been on a plane. I was up there for like 11 hours. It was. <laughs> it was I've crazy. done it before because I've gone to Egypt and it's it's the same amount of time. Oh man, I imagine it's but crazy. It, no, it's it's not easy. It's to be uh, able to just be like boop, and I'm there. I, I sign me up. Just the amount of time you're saving is just worth all the money. Even if I'm paying the same ticket price for the plane, and I don't have to do that 11 hour or 24 hour flight time to like Sydney or fucking whatever 18 to 20 hours to japan oh my god God. okay i'll pay you the two thousand dollars for the tickets but like i because you gain so much time too right because you you're spending a lot of vacation time in the travel to your destination and back but with the teleportation is like all right 
I'm there in an instant. I get to use my all this time. And then I can, you know, teleport back and then and you're good to go. And hypothetically, you don't, you're like, you're not like exhausted too from all the travel. Cause I, you know, after all that travel, yeah, you need no like time a difference. Nap or whatever to yeah. recoup or shower. And, like, I mean, there's I, still a time difference, but you're not spending <clears throat> it getting there. You're there instantaneously. So if you're, you're there at like night and whatever, you just either go to sleep or just stay up and, you know, it'll, it'll work itself out quicker than being on a plane. What if you had to choose between not sleeping or not eating ever again? What would you choose? The only question I have is, do you feel the effects of either? I mean, I'd imagine you would be able to live sufficiently without whatever your sacrifice. Then I would go without sleeping. <laughs> I'm on if the I same can, boat. If I can not sleep and not feel tired... And, you know, just function normally like my brain doesn't fucking turn into mush. Then, yeah, why would I need to sleep? I can just be awake all the time. I can always find something to do. And then just it would be fantastic. Get like a night job where you can just computer or whatever, code or whatever at night or something. And just, it just There's so much room for activities now at night. You don't need to sleep. Now you have the know. full 24 hours, 365 without being tired like every single minute of the day you can use so i don't know if my fiance would like it though because she uh she likes to cuddle and she likes the body more and she likes that like intimacy. well i mean that, that, that's not gonna stop you from that stuff right you can still you know cuddle and and watch a movie you can you can still do that stuff in activity form it's just not gonna lead to sleeping no, yeah, I mean, I know you can still do it, but there's some people that at night, you know, they like having their partner there. And it's like, if I'm not sleeping, I'm like, I don't want to be in bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just love I would, food too I would, much, man. I can't, yeah, I can't sacrifice that. I'm just like, cheesecake, steak, all, all the good shit. Mm. Can't, can't. Popeye's chicken is awesome. What if gravity suddenly became 10 times stronger for a day? You think you'd be able to survive that? Can we survive that? What is, I mean, what are we at like right now? Like nine point something? It's like 9.8 meters per second square. That's the force that's pushing down. If you double that. 10 times. If you double that, well, can our so, skeletal so, system so, even so it becomes 98 pressure, meters like per second hour? squared. 98, like, 0.2 meters per second squared. If Man, I that's some that. Dragon Ball Z shit. I, I know, that's, what I, that's, that's, what I, that's the first thing I thought of, like, the like, fucking hyperbolic time chain. I, I am the principal, say it. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that I can attest to that is, like, going deeper in the ocean without, like, a, a safety suit. Because the, the pressure gets stronger and stronger. I don't know how deep you would need to go to 10 times the strength. But at that point, would you be even able to, like, fucking breathe? Would your lungs be able to, you know, comp- expand. Like, expand and compress and, you know, to for you to be able to draw in breath? And, and also just babies. Like, even if we can as adults sustain it, like, babies would definitely be done. Oh, damn, bro. For one day, yeah. all the babies on Earth would just die. That would be and small children, itself. and yeah, yeah that so. that's ridiculous. All small pets, like they would. You'd just have to make fucking... like an anti gravity chamber. I don't even know how do you do that. Like giant fans, those like everybody would need fans. to go into outer space for that day. That'd be sick too. Man. Well, like, honestly, the rich happen. people would just build something in outer space. They would all escape there for that day. The when it comes, unless it's at random, um, and then like all the poor people would just die. <laughs> yeah, I could see that totally happening. All the people with money. Yeah, yeah. All that people, all that toilet paper, fun, thunder. <laughs> all the toilet paper <laughs> currency people and all the, you know, decentralized uh, bidet currency uh, cryptos. Those, those crypt, crypto bidets. <laughs> yeah. Serious out there. Man, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about science enough to be like, how do you counter gravity? Because. 
How do you well, gravity is caused by density, right? So the, the size of the Earth is what's causing our gravity. So if the Earth was bigger, our gravity would be stronger. Well, I mean, density isn't... Just because you're bigger doesn't mean you're as dense because, you know, you can have like a golf ball with, uh, wasn't the universe or something like a golf ball with and, the and density pin, of all sure. the mass. So it's like yeah. the size doesn't really like. Well, if it's not density, then it's the weight. I see but, but like it's, it, it has something to do with that. It's, you know what I mean? Mass it's, and shit. Yes, I, that's 100% correct. That should have been the word I used. Mass is what causes <laughs> gravity. That's why yeah. um, uh, black holes are so, like, their gravity is so strong because they're the heaviest mass. The mass is like infinite. So it's like infinite gravity just pulling. Suck. I don't think their mass is infinite. <laughs> well, I they, mean, we don't really measure know. measure their mass, right? We don't even know where it ends. So how it, it possibly infinite. Okay, I'll admit. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know. True, true. That is true. But, uh, or false. Um, I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, I don't about. know. We don't scientists. know. <laughs> don't take our word for it. I have a PhD it. in physics. I have a Gravity. PhD in bullshit. I just feel like, honestly, that dramatic of a change would kill everything. Like, would mess with the yes, if it's so like, bad if that it just, like, like, it'd be on like at once. day yeah. after tomorrow type shit. Like, yeah, I yeah. think that Earth would fall apart and. Or at least crumble for a bit. Well, all our buildings would fall. Back right? to this all our buildings would crumble because they're designed to withstand one times gravity. Yeah, yeah. Because the structures are designed to withstand one times the gravity. That's how they're they're anything that's up. It's the calculation for the structural engineer. They use the current nine point eight two meters per second squared to calculate the mass of everything and whether it can hold itself up or not so if that all of a sudden gets 10 times we uh, yeah all, every, all humans on earth would die because all the buildings that you're living in would just crush you and so with the cars like it was just like <laughs> it bet, would be it would be an extinction level event the at the, at the pyramids of giza uh, and the and the sphinx will still be around <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe those stones if if the stones can hold themselves sure but the ground under them can that hold it up i don't know i don't know sure, but sure. yeah no everybody would die instantaneously that's crazy i did not think about the buildings it took me a second I, and on a mark i i couldn't even say that sentence so <laughs> did you say the mock? I don't even know. What I was did. i was trying to say and i'm an architect but like you know my my brain was just like nope yeah. And I'm a knock. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right. All right. This one was interesting. What if the whole world could hear you talking for a minute? What would you say to us? Hmm. This one this one made me think for a little second, but then I think I would take the opportunity to convince everybody I was God. <laughs> if you could talk to everybody at one time, send, I don't know. Send my prophet. <laughs> Daniel, aka Emperor Disco Money. <laughs> Invest in LWG. Yes. They're the higher go, S. <laughs> go like and subscribe to their YouTube channel <laughs> right now. Thanks yeah. for tuning in to Los Wise Guys Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> funny. You for the one minute, minute to it's fucking promote the, the podcast. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Oh, fuck. I feel like the CIA would knock our doors out to be like, how the fuck did you do that? <laughs> Terrorist level, like lock Damn. us up without even question. <laughs> if the world could hear me for one minute, what would I say? I'd tell them how much humanity sucks. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't want to suck... Go like and subscribe to the Los Wise Guys YouTube <laughs> channel. You know what I mean? LWG, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Heck yeah. No, that'd be insane. You got you to gotta plug LWG. That's yeah, like yeah. Two, two seconds out of a whole minute. Like, yeah. 100%. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I guess if I had time to really think, I would make. I'll try to make a, a speech or something. 
I but, I would have to know this is coming ahead of time so I can really think about it. like if every single person on earth heard what you say then like what like what is important enough to tell the whole world you know what I mean like I I don't know do you plead with them for world peace do you like I I don't know do you just fuck around and tell a joke or do you uh, like it, it's like what would you do like what does that one how much significance will that one minute have part of me like because i grew up with a lot of pranksters in my family and yeah. i want to play that like jokester route but at the same time i feel like with the gravity of having everyone's attention it's like yeah. a perfect time to unite the world and and in our humanity in general but it's like what do you say also to to get everybody? I mean, you like, could fake like... being an alien, right? Because like you <laughs> could fake being like, "Hey, I'm I'm an alien species. If you guys don't get your shit together within ten years, I'm gonna destroy the planet." Because they can't prove anything, right? They can't prove who did it. Like, who? How are they gonna know? Like, is some like because like how is everybody hearing you? You're hearing it inside your head. Like, did everybody hallucinate, or is it like do you just come on TV or something, and then? So it's like, how is the how's the message being broadcast? Is it like right into the brain? Is it on TV, to everybody's phone? What if you don't have a phone, right? You got those uncontacted tribes. I would imagine it would just be like at that scale, like connected to like your conscious or something. So I'd then I would be like, had... hey man, you got ten years. For humanity to get its shit together, everyone has to act, or else I'm destroying the planet. And and do what Ozzy Mendez did, right? Give the world a common enemy so they can come together. <laughs> Give the world an ultimatum. <laughs> yeah. Get your That's really what together. he did, right? He used this powerful being to cause havoc and unite the planet and give it peace. The world needs a bad guy. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. It's it's what uh, happens in every alien movie, right? Like a- aliens come, everybody's like, "Let's get together and beat them," and we have like everybody's cooperating for like however long it takes to kill the aliens, and then it's like, "All right, let's get back to our bullshit." <laughs> yeah. I. Uh... No, yeah, I just I'm just wondering like. Would people just be like, ah, whatever, it's nothing? Or like, mm-hmm. would, how many people? I, I feel like with the everybody hearing it and experiencing it at the same time, it would carry some weight. Maybe even like, yeah, knock with some religions and stuff. Just be like, what was that? <laughs> it's God or it's a prophet or you know, I'm, I'm sure there'd be a lot of like mystery and lore to it. Uh, but I don't know. It's a <laughs> I guess I'd want to do good with it. If I, if I had time to like really think it out, I would. But if I was on the spot, I would probably definitely just be a goof. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, last question. Why don't you give us another one, Disco? Last question. Um, <laughs> what? What if we are capable of breathing in space, but others are trying to convince us that we aren't so that we stay here? <laughs> Ooh, that's an interesting concept. That would be awesome. They've been then, lying like, to us the whole time. Right, because if, if we can breathe in space, then we can travel the universe, right? Even if our spaceships are slow, like we can just pop a window open and breathe. Like, the whole point of outer space being so difficult is that, like, it's inhospitable to us. There's no oxygen. There's no gravity. Like, it fucks with us. At least if there's, like, if it's breathable, then we can traverse it. That would be awesome. No, yeah, oh, yeah. That, a lot that of, would be. Well, first, the rich people would leave, right? Because they're the only ones who would have the means to build the ships and go. And then it's like, all right, Eel. take your shit and go and leave us the planet. We'll take care of it. And if you come Elon's back, already we're shooting... planning Mars out. He's gonna. <laughs> yeah. If you come back, we're shooting your ships down. <laughs> now so you're a whole separate back. culture. Like, yeah, yeah. Leave and don't come a, back. You castaways. But uh, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, in science they tell us it's vacuum state out there, but like, 
do we personally really know or we're just taking the word? So I don't know. I, I feel like there could be some conspiracy there. But that's a, that was a. I mean, I honestly think that it's not breathable. <laughs> it's just there's. <laughs> It would have to be pressurized, like the, the like this planet, for us to be able to breathe out there, right? There's no there's no evidence of oxygen. There's no like how is it pressure? So we're in a pressurized globe inside a pressurized galaxy, or you know maybe if if like the galaxy itself, like because we're within a galaxy, but then the galaxy is within the greater outer space, so it's just like. Is the galaxy? What if the galaxy was like it has its own atmosphere and like we can breathe in that? But once we leave the galaxy, it's like the, we can't breathe. That'd, That'd be, be interesting. pretty interesting. The galaxy has its own atmosphere. That's a yeah. pretty cool. Damn. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Good yeah. shit. Good shit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this topic of what ifs. Um, honestly, it was it was very fun. They're always very, uh, we always like to go with the thought provoking stuff. Um, we like to have these thought experiments and it was a lot of fun thinking about these, uh, what if situations and, uh, what if universes. Um, yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you like what you hear, follow us on our social medias and then let us know in the comments, what are your thoughts on all these? What ifs, what would you do? in all these situations let us know in the comments but uh disco why don't you go ahead with your um your reviews <clears throat> okay dokie give me one moment it would also be fantastic if you're like centered in your camera <laughs> yeah well my computer's kind of being weird right now that's all good short okay so today in my movies and tv show reviews i'm gonna hit up the uh, specific theme and it's a spy theme um two shows that happen to come out just coincided and they're very very much spy themes so I was, why not put them together <clears throat> here we go um first one is Citadel, it. it's super it. tiny. I could not find Tiniest a bigger picture. Pictures. How is that but possible? Here, on on a basic Google search, I did half the stuff wasn't even this show. It was like a, a movie called Citadel. So this is what y'all get. Put, you you could have put like Citadel Prime or Citadel Amazon. I did. Prime. I put Citadel Amazon twenty twenty three, and and okay. this is still the best uh, I could get on Google. <laughs> this was uh, oh, it was produced <clears throat> by the Russo brothers. Yeah, so this came out on Amazon, uh, April 28th, uh, so uh, just about a month, under a month ago. <laughs> and it was a, a six-episode special. Um, overall opinion, I I personally did like it. Uh, it you know, it, was, it wasn't award-winning or anything, but I, I kind of liked the spy theme. They mm -hmm. had a – pretty much it had kind of a premise where – these two characters are spies, but they, the CIA or what, or they're actually work for a, a covert op called Citadel, and they remove their memories from their head. Uh, like pretty much, they separate their spy memories from their regular like uh, mm -hmm. civilian life, I guess. And so they kind of use that to their advantage. Uh, one of the characters forgets he's a spy and ends up making like a normal life for himself. He gets a wife makes kids and then all of a sudden the spy life gets thrown back into his uh, his reality and and slowly but surely he um uncovers his spy life and he meets uh you know other agents that he was working with and there's a lot of deception and uh there's a mole and nobody knows who the mole is because everybody's minds like they, they nobody remembers shit um so it's, it's a pretty fun concept and uh it's six episodes so it's relatively quick too so it's like it's a nice um just a passer through show is uh so I, I give it a, a one thumbs up and uh has priyanka chopra jonas and um, chopra chopra 
Mm-hmm. And Richard Madden, they have pretty good chemistry together. I like them together on, on screen. It felt, uh, uh, you know, you can feel the tension and, and, uh, and the back and forth and spy life just getting between everything and then life just getting between everything. And uh, it was a pretty awesome show. And uh, I'm wondering if there's going to continue with a season two. Um, so this one gets thumbs up for me. Um, definitely uh, check it out if you like spy stuff. If you don't like spy stuff, then you probably think the whole thing is cheesy, to be honest. But I, I personally did, so I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a, a recommend. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> What's next up? Uh, another spy movie called... I mean, a spy TV show called... Uh, it came out on Netflix. It's called FUBAR, starring... Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And, uh, this one, um, <clears throat> this one had more of a. I like see a choppers comedic, in the background. Yeah, more of a comedic feel to it. But honestly, I did enjoy it. Um, at first, I was like, "Man, I haven't seen uh, Arnold in a while. Like, can he still act? Or like, you know, is he gonna burden the film? I don't know." Or, or TV show, but honestly, it was it was good. It was a good TV show through, all throughout. <clears throat> yeah, Arnold did good, and all the supporting characters did good. Uh, I liked his daughter Emma and Uncle Barry, who's like a really nerdy dude. He he said a lot of nerd pop culture. He referenced Star Wars and uh, like you know Marvel stuff. <clears throat> so it was a enticed me in that way and also they had other people that were comedic relief I, I didn't pull up their their actors names but uh they they had very good chemistry and, and they have that kind of like good slapstick uh humor and uh and also they they pulled in some drama too and you know the life of a spy you know you can't um it's hard to have love you know you're always hiding a part of yourself so it kind of affects you in that way so they kind of hit a lot of different aspects and uh, overall i thought it was pretty pretty decently funny you know nothing crazy like nothing like award-winning like a like didn't blow me off the, my you know knock me off my socks but it was uh i would also give this one a, one a one thumbs up like i would check it out if, if anything just keep it as a background show while you're cleaning um if, if you don't want to really give it the full time but because it does definitely have some like one-liners and some uh, some funny moments in there <clears throat> and uh and like i said the the character chemistry is is a uh, pretty good i could definitely see this show getting another uh um season i was almost gonna say semester i'm so stuck in <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so this one's definitely gonna get another semester um yeah. but uh no i could definitely see uh netflix giving this a uh, another season maybe a season but I, I don't see it going too too far um but uh yeah so definitely give it a shot now, arnold's still kicking he's uh Still yeah. got the juice. He's, uh, I'm surprised. He's still, uh, <laughs> I found him funny, you know. He, uh, he's a goofball, and uh, the supporting characters and everything kind of just went went well. <clears throat> and they, they kind of set up the season two, and it left it left me wanting more. Um, so okay, I'll give it a shout out. Give it a give it a shot if uh, if you got some free time, like I said, and and also this one. Uh, keep under mind that like if you don't like spy stuff, then you're probably not gonna like this either because it's like CIA spies. Um, uh, yeah, so I mean, these are two movies. I and have you uh, watched? Positive, There's another Netflix week. show that's about spies. It's called um, uh, fuck, what is it called? It's um with that guy Noah something. No, he was the uh, Adam Smasher and uh, what you call it? Oh fuck! He, he was the Adam Smasher <clears throat> and um, man, I am having you got a hard time. I with believe this. you. Jesus, I'm gonna turn to Google. Adam Smasher. Right. He was the Adam Smasher. In Black Adam. <clears throat> I don't know. All right, let me let me look him up, and I'll get the show name. Adam Smasher. He was a oh. 
The Recruit. There we go. The Recruit on Netflix is also another spy show. Uh, if you if you like those two, you'll like this. I watched The Recruit. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Good show. Definitely set up for a second season. Wild shit. And um, yeah, it was it was a fun watch. Very well yeah. Uh, I haven't checked that one out, but I'm definitely this one is a hundred percent like CIA now. crazy shit. No one knows what's happening. Everything's a secret. Like it's 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 crazy. It's nice. Yeah, that reminds me of uh, Jack Ryan's coming out. I think uh, at the end of this month. We're in June now. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I'm I've never for watched any of this Jack Ryan stuff, but I do want to see a Jack Reacher season two. I enjoyed Jack yeah. Reacher a lot. Jack Reacher was really good too. I, yeah. uh, the guy from Blue Mountain or whatever, uh, he yeah, killed yeah. it. He killed that role. He's just so buff and he has that charisma. He's fucking huge. Excellent. <laughs> For real. But yeah. All right. Well, let's do some final thoughts, Disco. Final thoughts. Um, so. It's been a while since I had my last like knife update. I was like, oh, oh I'm nice. jumping into premium premium knives. I ended I like up getting the shape of that one. Two more. I got this bad boy, which is a Spider Co smock, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then uh, I got this one, which is a Benchmade Osborne. They're both S30V, which is supposed to be like pretty nice steel, way better mm-hmm. than your average. It's supposed to hold your edge pretty good, and so far I, I I've seen it. It lasts longer because I like to whittle wood and. You can like tell the difference and Mm -hmm. uh been splurging taking care of myself since i you know i passed all my classes and i'm like got my apartment so i was like you know what let me uh take care of myself so i expanded my knife uh collection and uh so yeah yeah that's that's what's going on in my life now good shit good shit love love me some knives (laughs) uh final thoughts um you know just just working uh trying to get into a, a a diet and workout routine trying to lose this weight that i gained since getting married shit is real um <laughs> fucking relationship man. weight yeah it's wild um but yeah man um i don't like that i'm up again it's not comfortable so i'm i'm gonna i need to start trying to lose this shit for real so i'm gonna try to uh look up how to do macros and uh, see if I can, because uh, I don't like dieting and it, it's just like it's not sustainable. So I want to yeah, just yeah. find a Especially like how many calories do I need to eat? Like eat, try to make healthier choices and try to live that way and see if that works. <clears throat> um, yeah, so um, I think if I can do that, I'll, I'll start losing weight again. And then now I'm back commuting into the city, so I'm getting my walking in. And that was like a big deal for me prior to COVID because I walked a lot. So I think that helped keep my weight down. I think that was another factor that added to my weight gain. But yeah, I will try to lose more weight and look sexy for y'all. And um, Check out our OnlyFans. We yeah. Got it in there. I mean, beards. right now it's only feet picks and beard picks, but you know we'll we'll get there. Maybe if we get abs one day, we'll throw in some abs. I highly we'll doubt exercising. it. Uh, you know, my apartment actually has a, a gym complex. I, I gotta nice. I gotta hit it up sometime. Very cool. Gotta make the routine. <laughs> Well, thank you for listening to the Los Wise Guys podcast. If you like what you hear, don't forget to follow us on social media, like, subscribe, share, uh, rate, and review all our content on YouTube and then go check out the Los Wise Guys website, loswiseguys.com. Thank you for listening. Have a great week.